Hello, in this problem we're going to simplify this expression uh, by hand. And we're going to do that using um, scientific notation. So we're going to convert everything into scientific notation. So first let's think about what we want. It would be really nice if this was a 75 and this was a 15. So 75 over 15 is 5. So that would be nice if we had a 75 and a 15. Likewise, it would be nice if this was a 48 and this was a 12 because 48 over 12 is 4. So we're going to force things um, to work out that way. So I'm going to do it right here in the problem, all the work. So first let's focus on this piece here with the 75. We want it to be 75, so I'm going to take this decimal and I'm going to move it over to the end. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6. So this is 75 times 10. And you might say, oh, is it 6? No, it's negative 6. Remember, because we're trying to get a decimal. So to get from 75 to the decimal, you need a negative exponent. You need to go backwards to undo what we just did. Right? So we went to the right six places, but when I write it this way, uh, uh, it's, not, it's different unless I put a negative 6. This makes it the same, because now if we work backwards, we get what's up here. In this case here, we have to start at the end. And we wanted to make it a 48, so we're going to go left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this will be 48. And then 10 to the 5, right? Because that's how we get this expression here, this huge 4,800,000. Over on the bottom, we want a 15. So here's the decimal. So 1, 2, 3. This will be 15 times 10 cubed. And again, just mentally check. If you multiply this, you should get a bigger number, so things are good. And this one needs to be a 12, we said. So 1, 2. So it'll be 12 times 10. Oh, not, that's not 2. No, 3, 4. I almost messed up. We want a 12. So 10 to the negative 4. It's too much counting. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Four. Yep, okay. That's, that's why we want the decimal because we want a 12. Four places, so we need a negative four. All right, let's clean this up. Let's go ahead and uh, cancel these. So this will give us a five up top. Let me switch colors. This is five. And uh, 10 to the negative six times 10 to the five. Let's multiply these. When you add the exponents, uh, you're going to get uh, 10 to the negative one. I'll write that here. And this 48 over 12, that's going to give us a 4. Okay, now we'll deal with the bottom. 10 cubed times 10 to the negative 4. We'll add the exponents. That's 10 to the negative 1. Oh, look at that. It's just so rigged. <laughs> this is equal to 20. Who would have thunk? I just wanted to say thunk. Kind of a fun problem. It's a really uh, hardcore exercise in uh, scientific uh, notation. That's it.